my name is Nicolas Montez, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicolas Montez. Welcome back to another YouTube channel. Hello, everybody, I'm so excited to have y'all back here together again. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing <coughs> a new movie that came out on Disney Plus this weekend, known as Sneakerella. So let's go ahead and get started talking about this movie. <laughs> Now, when this movie was announced back in, like, early Disney Plus days, I was extremely skeptical for this film. And honestly, I wasn't excited for it. It was not on my radar at all. I only watched this movie simply just because it's a new movie out coming out in 2022. So I need to watch it just to watch it so that way I can go out and just have... At least I've seen that movie. And, you know, the title just sounded so terrible as it basically is just Cinderella, except with, um, it's basically just, uh, Cinderella was, instead of the glass slipper, it's sneakers, and, um, I, I definitely... How do I say this? I definitely was not excited for that idea, and it just sounded so bad to me. But, I will say this. It actually did do some enjoyable stuff with the concept. Now, obviously, it, it does take stuff from the Cinderella film, where, you know, it has, you know, the evil step people, the evil step family with the evil, instead of the evil stepfather, I mean, instead of the evil stepmother it's the evil stepfather instead of the evil stepsisters it's the evil stepbrothers and then you have like this boy and then instead of the a girl it's a boy that is the outcast that is the one that's being the slave to the step to the step person um step parent and he it's not that he has a pat it's not that he has dreams of wanting to go out and live happily ever after and have a good life he has he has something he wants to do in life, and basically, he's a shoe. De he's a he did he designs shoes. He's a shoe designer, and I thought it was pretty cool. Along the same lines, when you get to throughout the film and he's sneaking around, but then he's also creating sneakers. It makes sense of why the movie's called Sneakerella, because it has the stuff that that is from Cinderella, but it's about him sneaking off. That's, that's kind of, I mean, obviously, it's cringy at the same time. It's still, prof it's still really cool the way they actually kind of did that. Granted, I never watched many of the trailers. I saw them a little bit, but I was like, I didn't really want to watch it because it just, I don't want to see another movie about it, but whatever. So then, and then, but besides that, the characters are also really interesting. And I, I thought, I thought that they were the best thing about this movie as, you know, um, and all of them have interesting, like, the, the kids, the main kids, best friend, very helpful, and even Kira and them, they have great relationships, and it kind of reminded me a little bit like Aladdin instead of Cinderella, so I thought that was a great mixture of Cinderella with, and then of course, it still has the stuff with the king stuff, and Kira being the princess instead of the prince, and there, and there's, but there's still a king inside of it. And, uh, and then, of course, it takes place in New York, um, which, of course, that's always nice. And, of course, the music actually bops. Um, it's all sang very well, and I thought it worked in the way it was done. And so, for me, I just thought it was a very enjoyable, clever film that I was so surprised with, and I thought this was going to be a disaster of a film. But now, let's just move on to the bad now. Now, I don't really have many issues with this film, but when it comes to that specific plotline in the movie where the brother, stepbrothers show the king about the shoes that he made. <coughs> Sorry. That seem, it seems kind of confusing uh, to exactly what just happened. And I never understood what happened there as to, like, why was he mad? Like, 
what? Like, he put all this stuff in his head to make him say these things? Like, what? Like, what? And then I think the other thing you gotta talk about is, as much as I love exploring the city of New York, as much as I liked that it took place in a different location, it's not in a, in a royalty, it took place in a real world place, I guess feel like you could do it somewhere else. Right, New York is a, is a great place. I love movies that, I love movies that take place in New York City. But, when you're, what I've seen in New York City in almost bunches of movies this year, and it just kind of almost gets annoying sometimes. And I, maybe it's just because I want to explore different locations, but then at the same time, I might be disappointed with that location. And I'm like, you know what, let's just go back. But then at the same time, I, I want something new. But if, they, if they're going to do something new with the location in a movie, they need to do it right. And sometimes movies don't do that. So they did do it with this film and kind of did it in a very unique style. But overall, that's really my review for Sneakerella. Before I give my final score, be sure to comment down below. What were your thoughts on Sneakerella? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? Were already tween? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section below. With that said, let's get on my story. <laughs>